Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me. I'm Coach Sierra, the Research and Assessment Specialist with Academic Coaching for World Changers. And today we're going to talk about how to apply the knowledge that you have earned on your own or you earned from watching our other video about correlations and correlation coefficient to actual test questions. So here are some example test questions you might see. This is coming from the Helwig book in the assessment section. Question 115. The Pearson product moment correlation coefficient is a useful measure of relationships. Remember that correlations means relationships like between variables. We can have a multivariate, which meaning which means there is a, sorry, let's back up. You can have a multivariate correlation, which examines the relationships between multiple variables or a bivariate correlation, which examines the relationship between two variables. And remember that the correlation coefficient is a number that tells us the strength of the relationship between variables. All right, so which of the following is not true? Those not true questions can really get some of you. Not true is also saying the same thing as false. So the question or the statements that are true will not be the answer choices, all right? So let's go to A. The correlation coefficient measures the relationship between two variables, bivariate. That is true. We know that a bivariate correlation measures the relationship between two variables. All right. So, hey, nicely done. Oops. Okay, let's go to our next one. A high correlation can shed definitive information on which variable causes the other. I'm going to leave that one there just because that word cause, I know correlation means relationships. But does that mean cause? Hmm. The range of this correlation is between negative one and positive one. We know that is true for a fact. So now we're stuck between two. Can a statistical significance of each correlation be determined? Or is there a high correlation that can shed definitive information on which variable causes the other. Which one is not true is B. Remember that correlations is not the same as cause and effect. Correlation is not causation. Correlation is not causation. Correlation is not causation. This comes up in research and assessment. That's why I'm really emphasizing that you really need to know correlations and how it's not cause and effect and also knowing the other characteristics about correlations. Now, I also really want you to be mindful. If you are watching this video and taking notes, please don't write down 115B. Write down about the question, all right? Correlation coefficient, it measures relationships. Write down what a bivariate correlation is. Write down the range of the correlation and note that you can find a statistical significance for correlation. That way, if you see an exam question asking you which one is true, you have that answer not just which one is not true. I think sometimes when people move through questions, we're really focused on the answer for the practice exams, but no, for the real exam, they might ask you a different version of the question. So really being uh, holistic in your approach and setting the content through questions. Again, this is the Dr. Pam method, right? Where we're trying to knock out two and we're going back to the question and then we're finding our answer and we're proving our answer from the language of the question. Let's do it again. I'm going to take us to 130, 130. Which of the following statements about a correlation coefficient is not true? Not true, all right? So A, the direction of the correlation indicates causality, not casualty. I know research and assessment is really serious for some of us, but not enough to cause some causalities. I mean, ca casualties, okay? So indicates causality associated with the variables. Correlation can range from negative one to zero to positive one. Correlations can be determined between two or between multiple variables. And in a bivariate correlation, if both sets of numbers trend down, this is a positive correlation. So if you've been studying correlations on your own or watched our prior video, you would know that first of all, correlation is not cause and effect as we just covered, but also these other statements are true. Correlation does range between negative one and positive one. Some people get caught in the fact that it says to zero, but you have to note that whenever we go from a negative to a positive, we always cross zero. That's very normal in numbers. Correlations can be determined between two variables or between multiple variables. That is true. All right. And in a bivariate correlation, 
if both sets of numbers trend down, this is a positive correlation. That is true because correlations move in the same direction in a positive, or sorry, positive in a positive correlation, numbers move in the same direction. Either they both go up or they both go down. So even if they're both going down, it's a positive correlation because they're both moving in the same direction. All right, we have one more, one more. Seventy-eight. A group of individuals completed two assessment devices. The correlation between the two sets of scores was 0.81. An accurate interpretation of that correlation coefficient is. So you should think, okay, if the range is between negative one and positive one, 0.81 is a positive correlation. It's not a perfect positive correlation, but it is a positive correlation. So with that, going off of our last question, we would know that the right answer is B. But let's go through all the answer choices. A, the higher the individual scored on one test, the lower they scored on another. That would be talking about a negative correlation because they move in opposite directions in a negative correlation. As one goes up, the other one goes down. B, the individual scored high on both tests or low on both tests. Well, that's true about a positive correlation. C, scoring high on one test caused, caused the high score on the other. We know that's not true. Correlation is not the same thing as cause. And D, an accurate interpretation cannot be made. That's just not true. That's not the case. Sometimes in the ACT, you'll see questions like that where they may be true where it says no change, but that is not the case for this question. The answer choice in uh, 78 always makes me chuckle a little bit because I imagine a client coming to you as a counselor and they're sharing with you their problems and your concerns during the assessment and you say to them, sorry, an accurate interpretation cannot be made and makes me chuckle because we typically don't lean them on that. This is a licensure exam if you're taking the NCE and this exam wants you to be able to make accurate interpretation. So that sometimes just makes me chuckle. But for 78, the right answer choice is B because we know this is a positive correlation. So they're both going up or they're both going down. That's all I have for us today. Thank you so much for joining. Of course, if you have any questions, any questions, you can always email us at Dr. Pam. 2020 at gmail.com. I'm Coach Sierra. I'm the Research and Assessment Specialist here with Academic Coaching for World Changers. Thank you so much for joining. Check out other videos that we have on our YouTube channel or check out our website and have a great day.